Welcome to TechBang, and in today's video, we shall take a look at the Tesla Pi phone go head to head with the Apple iPhone 13. The Tesla Model Pi phone and the Apple iPhone 13 Pro will be compared side by side in this post. Apple has become a household name as a result of its ability to sell as many handsets as possible. Last year, the Cupertino-based company sold over 200 million smartphones around the world. There's no doubting that Apple's iPhones, which it improves every year, do a lot of excellent things. Nonetheless, a new opponent is probably certain to arrive. This current competition is backed by the world's richest billionaire, who appears to have nearly infinite resources to invest in his creative inventions. Even though Musk has a lengthy history of making whatever he touches a reality, the Tesla Pi phone has all it needs to be a success. If customers are still not convinced, consider that Tesla currently provides a significantly larger number of electric vehicles, while SpaceX is launching satellites into orbit at breakneck speeds for its own and other clients. It also takes NASA astronauts to and from orbit. As a result, his mundane business is uninteresting beneath the feet. Millions of Tesla fans would undoubtedly prefer to use a phone built by Musk to complement their other Tesla products. Before going with the Tesla Model Pi phone versus Apple iPhone 13 Pro comparisons, let's take a look at this research. Apple appears to be competing with Tesla as evidenced by this comparison of Tesla's Model Pi phone and Apple's iPhone 13 Pro. For a long time, the iPhone maker has been linked to rumors that it is developing an electric vehicle. The car hasn't shown up yet, but the talk hasn't come to a halt. This isn't a report, but it appears that Musk attempted to sell Tesla to Apple during a time when the automaker was already in serious problems, a period he referred to as development hell. Tesla has thrived since then, despite the fact that Musk has never met Apple CEO Tim Cook. So, how do Tesla's model Pi phone and Apple's iPhone 13 Pro compare? What methods will be employed in the manufacture of the smartphone? Apple is well known for not producing its phones in-house. Instead, the company designs and develops devices in the United States before contracting out the actual production. Partners from all over the world produce camera lenses, CPUs, displays, and other equipment. Apple and Tesla's camera systems, according to rumors, are remarkably similar. Nonetheless, the iPhone 13 Pro, which is considerably newer and more sophisticated, has three lenses on the back. The iPhone takes terrific images, even with a wide lens. According to sources, the Tesla Model Pi phone has four lenses. With the Model Pi phone, there was a lot more that could have been done. For example, anyone could point the Pi phone at a clear night sky and take high-resolution images without having to wait for a long exposure. Users can also use one lens to take photos, while the other is used to film. During this period, the iPhone was noted for its slanted screen. Apple, in fact, established the style as well-known. The notch houses the front camera and other sensors. On the other hand, several phone manufacturers have experimented with various designs, such as a perforated camera. Apple has only ever reduced the size of the notch. Several individuals despise the design since it takes up valuable screen real estate and detracts from the overall appearance, yet they have little choice but to accept it in order to use an Apple phone. The smartphone's rough Mac glass back is prone to breaking when dropped, which is why owners should use protection as soon as they take it out of the box. A huge Apple logo may be found on the rear. The Pi phone likewise has a large sticker on the back, but the color changes depending on how much sunlight it receives. The photochromic covering on the phone is to blame for this. The iPhone may be charged wirelessly rather than through a cable, and there have been numerous complaints about how slow it is in comparison to other expensive phones. While there is no word on whether the Pi phone will have wireless charging, it is expected to have internal solar panels that would allow users to charge it using solar power rather than a cable. This shouldn't be an issue because Tesla owns a solar panel manufacturing facility. Every year, Apple upgrades the iPhone's processor. However, advancements have not yet reached the entire planet in the last few years. The A15 Bionic chip, as well as an additional GPU in the flagship device, 
are incorporated in the latest iPhone. While Tesla has not published any details on the Pi Phone's processor, it is believed to be powerful. This is the situation because the model Pi Phone will be used to mine cryptocurrency. In fact, because it will be used by colonists on Mars, it is commonly known that the Pi Phone will physically travel further than the iPhone. Musk wants to allow humans to live on Mars eternally, but he also wants to build a currency that allows them to trade and earn a living. It is for this reason that he produces Mars coins. The Pi Phone will be able to mine Mars coins. Customers can pay for food, gas, and other goods without having to use their wallets or credit cards, regardless of whether they are on Earth or Mars. The model Pi Phone would require a powerful microprocessor, primarily because of cryptocurrencies, and it also would include Oran technologies from Musk's Neuralink which aims to read impulses from the human mind by implanting chips into it. It isn't for nefarious purposes. The technology aids in the treatment of a variety of medical illnesses and may be able to help those with speech impediments put their thoughts on paper. Many Tesla car owners use the Tesla app on their iPhones to remotely control their vehicles. Despite this, the app remained a third-party owned app, limiting some functions because Tesla does not own the phone's operating system. Apple has been making iPhones for quite some time, and they continue to release new versions year after year. The Tesla Model Pi phone, on the other hand, is still on the way as Tesla is currently finalizing the features and design, but nothing indicates that it will take longer to arrive. That's it for today's video. Let us know down in the comment section what you think about both phones, especially the Tesla phone, since we are not quite sure what we will get from Tesla. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to TechBang if you are not already subscribed. Stay safe and we will see you in the next video.